how many records will be returned by the below SQL query. We posted the SQL quiz on our YouTube page and as you can see, we got mixed responses. Let's find out the correct answer. This SQL query is a left join between table A and table B on the key column column 1 and an additional condition on column 2 from table B. Let's first focus on the left join. Since the left table is table A, all the two records from the table A should make it to the output. But we can also notice that the first record from table A has two matches in table B. So would the two matches make it to the output or not? Let's check. So for now, we have excluded the like condition on column 2 from table B and are just executing the left join between the two tables. We can see that all the records from table A have been selected and there have been two matches for the first record from table A. Since the table A record with key value of 2 had no match in table B, we can see that nulls have been populated for the two columns from table B. Now let's add the next condition to this query and see what are the results. So we execute the query once again and now we see that only two records have made it to the output. To understand the output, we need to understand the wildcards which we have used in the like condition. The first part of our pattern specifies a range starting from alphabet X going to alphabet Y and this has to be specified within square brackets. Which means that a column 2 value from table B should start with an alphabet in the range X to Y, so either X or Y. The second part of our pattern is the wildcard underscore which denotes one character and means that there is only a single character following the first alphabet. So we need to look for column 2 values from table B which have only two characters. The first character has to be either X or Y which is true for both the records but there should only be a single character after the first X or Y which is satisfied only by record 2 and which is what we see in the output.